hearty welcome to our short introduction of what self-organization in our organizations, in our businesses, in our educations or communities can look like. My name is Matt Strap Fischer and together with my colleagues from Seven Generations here in Bern and in the Philippines, we are uh, working on helping organizational uh, organizations and, and clients to move from a pyramidical power structure to same eye level and circle businesses. For those of you who know Frederick Laloux's research on organizational cultures, you can see that we have over the last uh, decades and centuries developed from fear-based organizations that then turned more into hierarchical systems that turned into uh, competitive machine-like um, structures and over the last maybe 30, 35 years, we've slowly learned, well, what could empowerment look like? What could a more uh, organic way of collaboration really look like? And um, the way how we look at, well, if we take inspiration from Mother Nature, who probably is the best architect of organic, self-organizing ways forward that are really healthy and long living, then how would an organization look like? If she would build a business, how to be. And what we're seeing is it depend, it needs co-creation and it needs co-ownership in order to move from this to this. And of course, this is not a one-way road, but it goes back and forth a lot. Now in moving like a tribe and in a highly self-organized way, what we have is a model um, it's a circle, and in the center of the circle is the inner diamond. This inner diamond is our dreams, our values. This is our fire that attracts people to come and see, hey, what is this fire about? Now, in the outer part of the circle, we have four pillars of what it takes to be self-organized. Here, we have the pillar of agreements. And these agreements first is what are agreements to myself and what are our agreements together over here we have the pillar of trust now with trust it's also about am i trusting myself and and i'm am and am i trusting the people around me trust is always taking risks leaning in are we doing that for ourselves and together now here we have the pillar of support and structures how am I supporting myself? How am I supporting others? Am I doing this? And are the structures around us supporting our move together as a self-organized tribe? Now over here, this pillar of challenge, the challenge of am I challenging myself to continuously grow and to grow this uh, fire that is in the inner diamond, as well as how are we challenging each other to continue to grow not only ourselves, but our dream together in this inner diamond, growing the inner fire that allows people that get attracted to this light. So this is a way to move in a self-organized way, and it's a continuous shifting, measuring to see how well we are agreeing, trusting, supporting, and challenging. And if you want to follow this path, just try it out. Go ahead. And you will see that you need to relearn a lot of things. And that maybe takes you three years, or maybe takes you 10 years. It depends of which are you, is your environment, where are you playing with. And it needs a lot of dedication and effort with it. It keeps time for it. And maybe here in Seven Generations, we have a training that's called Concilcat Training that can help you in this personal path. It is one of the first stops, steps, and from it, you can really reach a really pure learning uh, line that will help you to, in the, with the time, to get more lighter, more balanced, and that you will start feeling that the whole company <coughs> is together and that you don't need to take care of the whole. It's just be responsible of one of the eight directions. And for it, you can get it. And if you 
are wondering, well, how can I train myself? Uh, how can I learn this with my team? How can our business, our organization learn this? Then there are certainly ways of how you can move in this direction. When it comes to uh, moving from a organism form to uh, a growing organism and not just a balanced organism, but really one that is able to transform and grow, as said, you need the co-creation as well as the co-ownership. If you're interested more in a personal development part, that is getting yourself ready for this new paradigm or for this new way of collaborating, then one of the ways that you could choose is to do a personal development training like the Council Guide training, which we're offering here in Switzerland or in the Philippines, also in the US at the moment. If you're more interested in, well, how do I get my business team from wherever we're at to more of a uh, circular way, then a circle business training uh, could be a way forward, which is a one year training that helps you as a team to really keep working on the different business aspects of uh, your initiative. If you're more curious about, well, how could I help other people to become more uh, circular and self-organizing, then what we have is uh, a training that we call the zero consultant training, zero standing for the circle. Uh, that helps people to bring a team from the different stages to um, really creating an organizational form where every voice matters, where the circle is at its playing, playing at its best.